Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paul. It's time once again for my monthly thrift store score video. And today we'll take a look at my thrift store haul from November of 2019. Let's start off with books and magazines. Got a copy of the Weekly World News from March 2005. The suspicious journalism includes man farts to death. Still collecting the Scott Pilgrim series, this time I found volume 5. And while I was on tour, I found this book in a thrift store in St. Louis, Missouri. A brief history of album covers shows the fronts of over 150 records from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and beyond. Also got the Jim Morrison book, A Feast of Friends. There's some good photos of him fishing. And the book echoes the complete history of Pink Floyd. It's very complete, even including reviews of specific concerts that they did. And finally, I got this 1982 Tops, the Smurfs sticker album. And it does have a percentage of the stickers in it. I paid exactly what it originally cost for it. <gasps> Alright, let's move on to the category of toys and games. I got some more video games. For the PlayStation, I got Missile Command and Trick and Snowboarder. For the PS2, I got DDR Max Dance Dance Revolution. And for PS3, I got Epic Mickey 2 and Resistance Fall of Man. For GameCube, I got Pac-Man World 2. And for the Wii, I got Tony Hawk Shred, Just Dance 3, Just Dance Kids, Game Party, and Family Fun Football. And I got four 1993 McDonald's Cleveland Browns football cards and one lenticular 1987 baseball card. You're out! As usual, I got a bunch of small toys and figures. 20 Crazy Bones, 11 Mighty Beans, 8 Ninjas, and 8 Assorted Monkeys. Plus a robot, a bok choy boy, a 1987 Taz figurine from Arby's, and this little meat man that came from Denny's. I hunger. And finally, I got these guys at a thrift store in Chicago called Discoveries. What I discovered is that although these three guys look like Ernie figures, it's clear from this handwritten price tag that they are in fact Elmo's. Hmm, I'm glad for the clarification. And thanks to Donna at Discoveries for this service with a smile. Now let's check out this month's audio scores. New CDs this month are by Pink Floyd, The Doors, ELO, Led Zeppelin. Two CDs called The Very Best of Cream, though one has eight more tracks than the other. Two discs of the Eric Clapton four-disc Crossroads set. Plus Alice Cooper, Genesis. Two CDs by Peter Gabriel, Rush. Mel Brooks and Carl Reiner, Donna Summer, John Coltrane, Miles Davis, The Jaws Soundtrack, Motorhead, The Cult, Morphine, The Bloodhound Gang, two CDs by Kitty, Blank 77, and The Dead Milkman. Excellent! Plus, I got cassettes by Queen, Yes, David Lee Roth, and two cassettes by Jefferson Starship. And while I was in St. Louis, I found eight tracks by Led Zeppelin, Blue Oyster Cult, and Richard Pryor. Plus the 1984 Picture Sleeve 45 by Julio Iglesias and Willie Nelson to all the girls I've loved before. Ooh, how kinky. And I found this in a thrift store in Indianapolis, Indiana. This cardboard record came from a box of Alphabet cereal in the mid-70s. I know because I used to have it, but I hadn't heard it in years. We walked a little further and came to a little private cemetery with a grill work fence around it. We went in and stopped in front of a grave that looked newer than the others. A woman pointed to the grave and said, My daughter, she was killed in an automobile accident last summer, and every night someone, some... Stranger brings her home again. Time to move on from audio to video. I got about 75 more DVDs and Blu-rays. 13 Blu-rays. Resident Evil and Resident Evil Extinction. Point of No Return. The Expendables. Killing Season. Batman Begins. Jurassic World. Wall Street. The King's Speech. No Country for Old Men. Horrible Bosses. 
Alice in Wonderland, and The Pink Panther 2. On DVD, I got horror movies, the complete Resident Evil collection, which is my favorite film series of this millennium, plus Stigmata, The Devil Inside, The Last Exorcism, Martha Marcy May Marlene, The Conjuring 2, Hannibal, American Psycho, The Night Listener, 30 Days of Night, Frankenstein's Castle of Freaks, Hollow's Grove, Van Helsing, Dancing in the Dark, and Bats. Sci-fi movies, Pitch Black and the Chronicles of Riddick, Starship Troopers, The Puppet Masters, Mr. Nobody, Dark City, and No Escape. TV stuff, I got SNL Best of 0607, Carol Burnett Show Carol's Favorites, The Andy Williams Christmas Show, The Adventures of Young Indiana Jones Volume 2, and the seventh season Volume 2 of Gunsmoke. Kid stuff. I got The Sword in the Stone, The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, and the Pee-wee's Playhouse Christmas Special. Merry Christmas, everyone! <laughs> Music DVDs, Paul Simon in Concert, The Who Live at the Isle of Wight, Paul McCartney Back in the U.S., and Kiss Live in Las Vegas. Why don't we start this examination just a little bit early? Foreign films, I got Madame Claude, Enchanted April, In the Time of the Butterflies, Young Detective D, Rise of the Sea Dragon, The Accidental Spy, and House of the Flying Daggers. <laughs> Action movies, Cellular, Memento, Snakes on a Plane, and Steven Seagal in Into the Sky and Submerged. <laughs> The classics, To Catch a Thief, The Apartment, Miracle on 34th Street, The Big Country, In Cold Blood, and The Shirley Temple Collection, Volume 2. <laughs> 80s stuff, I got Oh, Heavenly Dog, The War of the Roses, Aria, Man Against the Mob, The Chinatown Murders, and Good Morning Vietnam. <laughs> and comedies, Envy, Be Cool, the Aristocrats, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle, and Friday. Damn! I also found this video 8 cassette, which contains exactly one minute of an Asian woman talking on August 9th, 1995. <laughs> Now we'll look at the final category, the category of miscellaneous. I got a couple Animaniacs keychains and a vintage 1981 Smurf keychain, a Coors Light pin, and a smashed penny from Hershey World. And this Dairy Queen coin was good for a free Sunday or 40 cents off a royal treat. That is wild. Check it out, a 1984 Ronald McDonald pencil case. The ruler and the pencil sharpener are inside, but the eraser and the hamburglar pencil are long gone. I also got this Yoda decal, a Gryffindor patch, and a Pink Floyd concert ticket stub from their 1994 tour. And I found another Hill shopping bag, one of my favorite stores growing up. I can't get enough of them. Look at this. It's a gym deficiency form. This kid was totes deficient back in 1979 at Mount Lebanon Senior High School. Wow, I can't believe I found this envelope from Photomat. That's rare. I also got 11 slides, mostly of houses, but this one is of a guy in a jockstrap kissing a dog on the head. And I got this pile of old photographs, some kids with their goat, vintage shots from the New Jersey boardwalk, a guy holding up a worm or something, some frightening Halloween costumes, and wow, paranormal activity from the refrigerator. <laughs> and now it's time for the find of the month. In 1980, I saved all of these Pittsburgh Steelers caricatures that were in the Sunday comic section of our local paper, one every week. But by the end of that decade, I'd thrown them all away. Sometimes I'd think about them and wish I'd saved them. Oh well, I have them all back now. I got everything that you saw in this video for about 
nineteen dollars. I hope that you enjoyed my thrift store haul from November of 2019. And if you did, don't forget to click on the like button down below. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube. 안녕히 계세요. 여기다가 이거 이거 선생님이 저 저희들한테 주신 거 여기다 걸어놓은 거 한번 다시 아주머니한테 보여드리는 거예요.